Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we got our first piece of news in a long while, in about, like, I don't know, three weeks or so. So it's been a while, and I'm super excited to talk about this, because this is in regards to a Season 7 villain who is coming back, and so I'm very excited. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is coming from TV Line. And they are reporting that Godspeed is going to return next season. And so I'm going to go through that article. We'll go through, you know, the main bits and then we'll get to the interview with Eric Wallace. I don't think they've released the whole Q&A because it was a Q&A, but they put this segment into an article and they confirmed that, yeah, Godspeed is coming back for season seven because Eric Wallace, the showrunner of The Flash currently, was asked about whether the one true Godspeed, you know, the real Godspeed, would appear in the season and he confirmed it and you know we'll talk about his response in a second okay so here is how the article goes from tv line which will be in the link in the description below so it goes like this after nearly a half a dozen fake outs the flash will finally face off against a most formidable foe from the comic cw's number one series first teased the introduction of the white and gold clad godspeed during season five when barry and iris's daughter nora in the year 2049 bested the sinister speedster with a good amount of help from the imprisoned Ivar Thorn, aka Reverse Flash. Season 6 premiere then established that Team Flash in the present day had chased down a total number of four Godspeed drones, I think they meant clones there, all of whom were incapable of speaking except in a screeching modem language. When the real Godspeed appeared to show up in this season's penultimate hour, Barry was able to sideline him with the help of Hartley Rathaway slash Pied Piper. Alas, that was not the real August Hart either, Barry came to realise. Okay, then the article goes on to quote a bunch of the lines from the episode, you know, when Barry revealed that this version of Godspeed wasn't in fact the true Godspeed and he is a clone just like all the other versions, those four ones that he killed or like just took the speed then killed them earlier in the episode. But he turned out to be exactly like them in the end and so there is someone controlling them, someone sending these clones back in the past and that's what we got to explore so let's move on to this bit in the article and this is the quote that I was talking about. This is the confirmation that Godspeed, the real Godspeed is going to be coming this season and also the fact that yeah he is confirmed to be around and this is a storyline that they're actually going to explore next season which is really great to get the confirmation so this is how it goes on that conspicuous note it would seem the flash had teased godspeed long enough and now is ready to actually play that villainous card as it sets up and this is me saying it so come season 7 premiering in early 2021 will team flash finally go up against the honest to goodness one true Godspeed. And so Eric Wallace, in reply in the end of season Q&A, said, yes, you just might. And he said that with a bit of an evil laugh, it says. And then he goes on to say this, because that's where we're going. So he has confirmed that Godspeed will be one of the big bads next season, which will lead off from the three episodes that were scripted but weren't filmed but they have been confirmed to actually be those first three episodes and we'll go over another article in just a minute regarding the start of the season and what Eric Wallace has confirmed. Anyway for now Eric Wallace has confirmed that we will see the real Godspeed this season and this will be a storyline that they're going to continue and go down because he says that's where we're going. So there is an obvious plan behind this and due to the fact that he's saying because that's where we're going. I think that therefore implies that there's going to be a greater story and it's going to be a very big story next season. I guess it could be half the season, it could be all season long, I don't know. But from the way he's wording it by saying because that's where we're going, that means there is going to be steps along the way because it's not like just going to happen straight away, you know, and we're going to get the answers and it's going to be like a one and done episode like those past episodes, especially that first Godspeed episode, which was great by the way, but it was just like a one and done episode, it was like this version of Godspeed that we'll never see again, he was defeated and that was it. So he's saying that's where we're going, so there's going to be set up to where they go and to that final confrontation where we get to meet the real Godspeed and whoever's been sending back these Godspeeds into the past. And because that was like a mystery that started at the start of last season, 
and you know came up again at the end of last season that is going to be a mystery that has been around for a long while so i think they definitely want to explore this because they wouldn't have gone back to godspeed if they had no interest in him so you know the version of godspeed or whoever the real august heart or whether it is even august heart in the future next season we will find out which is just really exciting because you know they have faith in this and it doesn't even have to be godspeed sending back from the future or wherever they are and i think that's the most interesting thing about it also due to the fact that we suspect it's going to be like the real august heart is going to be a version of godspeed cloning himself but you know it could be like reverse flash it could be red death it could be anyone honestly so i'm so intrigued as to what's going on and i can't wait to keep on getting more hints towards what's going to happen and maybe this is a repercussion of when they defeat eva at the start of the season because that's what the synopsis tease you know when they defeat eva an even greater threat comes to the city and what would be a greater threat than the real version of godspeed who was able to create these clones and also make the clones but then also gives them speed force powers and, you know, the ability for one of them to talk. Whilst the others were sort of lower class clones, I guess, like they couldn't even speak. So he's obviously, he or she has obviously upgraded the clones with this latest version we've seen. So they're very smart. And so I wouldn't be surprised if it is, say, someone along the lines of Reverse Flash or someone with the intelligence of Reverse Flash. And maybe it's not August Heart. Maybe it's a different character, and I really can't wait to explore that mystery because I think there are so many possibilities, like I've, you know, just explained a few of my ideas in this video. So let me know your ideas as to the real Godspeed. What do you think is going to be happening? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, just before we end this segment of the Godspeed stuff, they released a new look at Godspeed from last season, I think. So I think this may have been from the latest episode. As far as I can tell, this comes from the stunt performer, and he was also the guy who played Zoom, so he's in a lot of this stuff. It's just a really cool look at Godspeed, you know, you get to see this behind the scenes look that is really good quality, but he's in CCPD, and you know, it's just kind of exciting to see a new look at one of the characters we're going to be seeing a lot more of. Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. This is again from TV Line. This was an article posted on May 13th. Somehow I missed it, but there is some really interesting stuff in this interview that they did with Eric Wallace again. So this is very exciting. So the first question is, that turned out to be a pretty torturous cliffhanger to leave West Allen fans with. And so Eric's answer was this, well, this was never supposed to be a season finale. They would have found out what happened to her in a week. Now, suddenly, they have to wait for I don't even know how long. But everything will be fine eventually. So what Eric teases here was we would find out the fate of whatever happened to Iris at the end of the finale, which wasn't going to be the finale and would have continued on to episode 20. And they would have found out in episode 20. Therefore, from this, we basically know that Iris is going to be revealed to be wherever she is in the first episode of this season. She's going to be fine. She's just going to be looking for Sing in the Mirrorverse. And then somehow in the next few episodes, I would probably say in episode 2 of the next season, unless they want to speed it up, I would have said, you know, maybe it was 21 where they wanted to get Iris out. And that's when they have that trip to the Mirrorverse. But, you know, then that's what happens in that episode okay so let's move on to the next bit so okay so let's move on to the next question so this is so the three episodes are essentially locked and tv line is referring to a previous question which you guys can check out and so basically it's talking about you know 20 21 and 22 which weren't able to go ahead this season so this was eric's answer he says hmm i wouldn't say they're locked there might be a wee bit of tinkering. Obviously, some things need to change because we don't know what COVID restrictions there will be on shooting, what protocols might come up. For instance, as in all of the Flash finales, we would have seen huge crowd scenes, but I think this all has to change. We have to go in and change things based on what we can and cannot do when production resumes. I guarantee you that will allow us to come up with something new we didn't come up with before, so maybe it's 75 to 80% of the original script so maybe 15 to 20% of new stuff so what he's basically saying here is yes they are 
basically locked, but, you know, not fully locked. So they are going to shoot new scenes for those episodes, but they are going to use the footage from 20 and maybe retool it a bit and continue with what they had with the scripts of 21 and 22. And the next question is, there might even be subtler considerations. The EP from another show was telling me how he probably can no longer have 40 people in his squad room with closed doors and a drop ceiling. Eric replies, yeah, we'll have to do some of the same things in the scenes in the finale where we usually have everyone in the room. I don't know if we'll have all nine series regulars anymore. And so this brings up a really big question when I read this answer by Eric, because he talks about how we don't know if we'll have all nine series regulars anymore. Obviously that could be just in reference to one scene or a couple of scenes in the finale. You know, what would have been 22, which will be now episode three. So, you know, first off, he's confirmed one, two, and three of season seven are basically, you know, what would have been the end of last season. Then they'll continue onwards, but obviously with some changes, but going back to what he says in regards to the series regulars, what happens if they get rid of some of them? Or they really sideline some characters, you know, some lesser characters who aren't as important right now, like Allegra, like Chester, who barely have had any time, especially Chester's barely had any time. So I don't see them pulling them all the way to the forefront over, say, like, Barry, Iris, Caitlin, Cisco, you know, Wells, would assume they want to focus on the main, main regulars rather than the sideline kind of regulars who just appear now and then but aren't like integral to every episode. So I'm really intrigued. Do you think that they're going to drop some people from the season? That could be a thing. They could drop them down to recurring roles or something like that due to restrictions in production and what they can and cannot do. So let me know. What do you think about this in the comments down below? But that does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Are you excited for Godspeed next season? I'm super excited. And he may be the main villain. It seems like he's teasing that. At least for half the season, maybe. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.